Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details and welcome back to part 3 of the Mark III Ford Focus RS full exterior detail. Today we're going to be applying the G-Technic CSL Black treatment which consists of a single layer of crystal serum light and two coats of XOV4. This is going to provide the Focus RS with 5 years of ultra tough ceramic protection. Following on from parts 1 and 2 in the Focus RS full exterior detail series, we have now cleaned, decontaminated and prepared the paintwork for machine polishing. We've completed three stages of machine polishing to remove swirls and scratches, and we have then wiped the paintwork down with IPA, and in simple terms, the RS is now ready for ceramic protection. Crystal Serum Light is going to provide the tough base coat for the jet black paintwork. The advantages of this ceramic coating, other than protection from contamination and natural elements, is that it is swirl resistant and also chemical resistance. This means when carrying out your regular maintenance wash, those paint swirls are going to be far more difficult to introduce into the paintwork. Crystal Serum Light requires all surfaces to be thoroughly clean before application so it can make a 100% bond with the paintwork itself. This is achieved through the chemical decontamination stages, machine polishing and the IPA wipe down. Apply a pipette full of crystal serum light onto the supplied G-Technic finger foam applicator and begin to spread across the panel that you are working. For the larger panels such as the reef and bonnet, I will split these areas into two sections and sometimes into four sections for the reef so I can keep my working area manageable. Once applied, it doesn't take long for crystal serum light to harden. In fact, in normal operating conditions, so around the 15 degrees mark, you want to apply the ceramic coating to the panel, then immediately begin to remove the product residue with a microfiber towel. With your first microfiber towel, what you want to do is to spread the ceramic coating to make sure it has covered all areas in your manageable section, while starting the process of removing the product residue. At this point we are not buffing the ceramic coating, we are simply making a start at removing the residue whilst making sure the entire panel is coated. Take your second microfiber towel and again with light to medium pressure, or what I'm doing is putting enough pressure on the towel to keep it flat to the paintwork, with this second towel you now want to continue to gently buff the ceramic coating until all of the product residue is removed. My latest method for spotting ceramic coating residue is to then take a third microfiber towel and use my scan grip handheld light and check that all of the ceramic coating residue has been removed and that the finish is crystal clear. You also want to check all surrounding panels for any missed product residue as it is very easy for the edge of a towel to run over into a neighbouring panel. Once you are happy that the current panel and surrounding panels are properly coated, it's time to move on to the next panel. The rest of the Focus RS was coated with the first layer of ceramic which took around 4 hours. Crystal Serum Light, in normal operating conditions, so around the 15 degrees mark, requires at least 3 hours to harden up before you apply the next layer of ceramic. G-Technic XOV4 is the ultra hydrophobic top coat that is going to give the Focus RS one hell of a deep gloss shine, slickness and water beading. It's the exact same process that we saw with Crystal Serum Light and this is to apply XOV4 to one manageable section at a time.
Gently buff the residue with the first towel to make sure it has covered all areas within your manageable section and then take the second towel to make sure all residue has been completely removed. Again I will then take a third towel and use my scan grip handheld light and make sure the finish is crystal clear whilst not forgetting those neighbouring panels. Each layer of XOV4 takes me between 3-4 to four hours to apply and requires the same 3 hour wait time before applying the second layer. Yes, that's 3 layers in total at around 3-4 to four hours each depending on vehicle size. A multi-layer ceramic coating is not for the impatient. If you attempt this 3 layer 5 year ceramic coating option which I can only recommend for the serious detailing enthusiast or professional, perhaps you have somewhere undercover to work or even better a controlled environment studio, then do it. Once you are finished and able to admire your hard graft which isn't only physically demanding but also psychologically demanding, then the finished results are spectacular. There's no other product on the market that delivers such an outstanding deep gloss lustrous look that will last for 5 years. It's then a bonus if you get to maintain the vehicle going forward on a regular basis so you can witness the ceramic coatings in action. With every layer of ceramic that you apply, it gets harder and harder to remove the product residue. It takes longer to remove all final traces of residue as the paintwork steps up to the ultimate gloss and slickness level. Crystal Serum Light on its own is an exceptional ceramic coating and with it only being a single layer, I would say this is the limit when doing mobile work. It is for me anyway. There's no way on God's earth would I attempt this 5 year multi layer ceramic coating option as a mobile job. The quickest car I've done so far took 12 hours from start to finish. The coatings then need 12 hours undercover so they stay dry and above temperatures of 5 degrees so they can fully cure. Crystal Serum Light on its own, say if you started at 7.30am, you could have it finished by midday and then allow the rest of the day for the coating to fully cure, provided all prep work was done in the days before. There's nothing saying that you can't attempt the 5 year 3 layer ceramic coating option mobile, in fact a big enough gazebo and side curtains with a car that fully fits inside and also securing points for the gazebo to safely leave it up overnight along with a decent handheld LED light plus temperatures above 5 to 10 degrees then provided you are a determined and patient individual then there's nothing stopping you doing this option as a mobile service, in fact this was me only 12 months ago. I'm going to refrain from showing you any finished footage of the Focus RS as we still have a few finishing touches left to do, which are going to be covered in part 4. As always, thank you for watching, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram, links in the description below. Why not bag yourself a few air fresheners from the JP Details online store, link also in the description below. Worldwide shipping now available. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.